Hello everyone, I'm John Cash, CEO of UR Energy, uh, talking to you from Casper, Wyoming. I'm excited today to be talking to you about our company, as well as our two flagship properties at uh, Lost Creek and at Shirley Basin. It's an exciting time in the uranium space with so many things going on in the market, as well as with geopolitics and increasing uh, supply and demand fundamentals. So let's jump right into the presentation. What you see here is our Lost Creek plant. It's been up, up and operating now for over 10 years. And the photo on the right is our first shipment of yellow cake that went out in 2013. We like to show this photograph because we are a real mining company. We are not just exploration and development, but we are a miner and we have been in the process of ramping back up production at that facility. I do need to lead with the disclaimer. I may make some forward looking statements during the presentation. I want you to be aware of that would like for you to do your own uh, investigation into the company and into the uranium mining space. There are risks associated with it, so please be a wise investor. Uh, so uh, check out our 10K and other reports for additional information on risk. Now turning to the uh, climate, geopolitics, and shortages of supply, those are the three factors that are really driving the uranium price today. The world has really started to turn toward nuclear power because of its green energy attributes. It's good, strong base load. It runs 24-7, 365, and generates no CO2, unlike renewables, which are off and on. So the world is beginning to move toward nuclear for that reason, and that is driving up the demand for nuclear power and calling for more supply of uranium to feed those plants. Already here in the U.S., we get about 20% of our electricity from nuclear, and worldwide about 10%. The number of reactors is slated to grow globally. The World Nuclear Association is projecting as much as 8% annual growth year over year. That prediction is a little bit outdated. We expect a new report to come out from the WNA within a matter of days, and we expect that number to be climbing. Turning to geopolitics, Uranium production and refining is controlled uh, by Russia, China, and other countries that are aligned with the East. And that is causing a lot of uncertainty in the market, putting pressure on the prices as companies are looking to diversify their supplies. You know, beyond that, the, the supply of uranium is really not keeping up with demand. If you take a look at WNA projections, they are looking at a potential shortfall of uranium as much as 200 million pounds per year by 2040. Turning to our company, we have two flagship properties. First off is Lost Creek. I mentioned earlier that it's been in production now for greater than 10 years. We've produced 2.7 million pounds of uranium uh, through 2022, and we have just started commercial production up again uh, starting in May of this year with our header house 2-4, and we expect to bring additional header houses in throughout the remainder of the year. We've got a good resource in the ground. 11.9 million pounds of measured and indicated, as well as 6.6 .6 million pounds of inferred resource. It has a reputation of being a low cost producer with a very good lifetime and a lot of opportunity to grow that potential through exploration. Our next project that we're looking at is Shirley Basin. It is construction ready. And what I mean by that is all the major permits are in place. It has a licensed mine capacity of 1 million pounds per year and a resource of 8.8 .8 million pounds measured and indicated uh, resource. We believe it was probably the first in situ uranium mine in the world. And once we pull the trigger on that project, we believe we can have it ramped up within 24 months. Turning to our market position, we have a very strong uh, cash uh, position right now, 63.7 million as of our last quarterly report. Our market cap has been moving upward uh, right around $370 million at this point. We have very sophisticated investors in our space. Uh, they know our story very well and uh, they invest in us. We also have great analyst coverage. Looking at our objectives, what we plan to do mo moving forward, number one is safety of our employees and the environment, but we also want to grow company revenue by expanding our projects through exploration and acquisition increasing our production rates, and just driving down costs through R&D, locking in profits through contracting, which we've been very successful at, and maintaining our skilled staff. 
So our key takeaways are we have a strong cash position. We've got a great inventory. We've got great long-term contracts in place that total 3.75 million pounds. And we are in the process of ramping up our Lost Creek property. And we'll be looking at our Shirley Basin project at ramping it up in the near term. So there are a lot of catalysts in the space right now. Uh, geopolitics, green energy, supply demand fundamentals, all of which point toward higher pricing in the uranium space. So we invite you to uh, join us as a shareholder.